welcome to Board Games with Niramas, and it's time for the second uh, try at Legendary Encounters solo playing. So Draco is still over there, he doesn't want to be involved, so I'll be doing this solo, and today it's time for Aliens, the second movie. And so uh, I have my characters here, which are the security chief and the scout. So let's see how they will do against all these aliens, because now I guess there will be more aliens basically, because, well, we're in the... In the movie called Aliens, but there's more than one. So well, let's see. I will draw six cards for the security chief. I'll try to keep these guys separated. Tell me in the comment section if I mess up. And you know, if you leave a like or a comment or uh, subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. So let's go. Here we have some grunts. Okay, and we got a situation here, which means I'll get to draw a card as well as some fighting there. That's good. And, oh, I got even the other one. This guy, actually, the security chief, has two special cards. So he has one, uh, both give draw a card, but this one gives money, the other one gives uh, fighting. So, not much money. <laughs> but, uh, let's see, oh, first the thing on my turn, of course, I was going to say, I have nothing to use it on. But first thing happens is, of course, the one moves down there, which means with my, well, I get to draw a card. Now I get to draw two cards. That's good. I get some money. So I have three recruit. Or money, as I should call it. Um, and I have one, two, three, four, five attacks. I'll use four to scan here. And it's a Xenomorph Swarmer. Oh, it's climbing in the roof. Uh, when it's revealed, add a hive card to the complex. So this one will actually push over there. Ouch, okay. But it's only a two, so. Um, but I only have one. Oh, yeah, I only have one attack left, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Okay, so uh, then I can recruit something for three. And I think I'll just start with the sergeant to try to get that coordinate going. And it's actually that symbol as well. I think uh, that matches well. I think these, I think the security chief has... Um, well, no, he already has the symbol. Oh, never mind. There we go. And so let's draw up to six new cards. And let's see, of course, there's no coordinate now. It's basically just a bunch of recruitment. And I'll put them sideways so I know it's not his turn, okay. And so the first thing that happens on the scout's turn is these guys move. And so our first objective here, by the way, is to kill three colonist hosts. So let's see when they show up. And then uh, the scout will draw six cards. And let's see what he has. So uh, money, money, fighting. Oh, here's a special card as well. This one is um, draw a card. It has a W symbol as well. Draw a card. Once this turn, he may scan any room. So that's nice. So uh, he will draw a card. Another grunt. And he can scan a room for free. So let's just scan the four here then. Oh, here's a colony host. Colonist host. Uh, this enemy does not move or strike. Uh, if I draw an event though, when this is out, then kill this enemy and put the top card of the high fish down. In its place, okay, so then it will be killed and there's an alien out there. But I can kill this one right away, right? Because I have, yeah, I have three attack. So let's take out this guy for two and the colony host for three. So that was easy. Let's get rid of those. And then let's purchase something for three. Oh, let's just get a sergeant here as well then. Why not? And uh, let's see, yeah. Okay, so that was the scout's turn. And the scout will draw six new cards. That's all of them. And there's some X here, of course. Um, yeah. Okay. So, then it's back to the security chief. So, new card comes out, but nothing moves, since there's space. And so, he will be playing, let's see, uh, four, five, recruit, and one attack. I can't do anything with one attack, so it's five, recruit. Oh, I do have some interesting cards here. Hmm. Yeah. I think this one would be nice, actually. Um, well, it's actually, if they get to the combat zone, it's only, that's the only time it's good. Now, oh, let's do this. Um, so, stay frosty to attack, and if I can get the blue symbol in some way, choose any number of players to each draw a card. So, that's nice. Drawing a card is always good in the deck builder. That's sort of what you're... I mean, if you um, if you think about it, um, draw a card is like I don't know, rolling an extra die in a die game or dice game or I don't know. 
Uh, I mean, it's sort of the basic of the whole game is to just draw cards. So draw an extra card, it's always good. Okay, so six new cards. And uh, let's see, do we have, oh, there's the new one. Oh, there's the coordinate, that's what I'm looking for. So the coordinate will be going top, so I know that I have a coordinate to use. And so now it's the scout's turn, these move. And let's see what he will be doing. So he has three, four money, two attack. Oh, I can't do anything with two attack. Hmm. I'll play, let's see, yeah, yeah. let's just play the coordinate from the security sheep. So he has six uh, recruitment instead, and the security sheep got this one, so that's good. So six to purchase with, and let's see. I think I will get this one first. This is a healing card. Uh, if the med lab is uh, clear, you can heal a strike, so that's really good. It's a uh, bishop there. So that's for two, and another card comes up. Um, and four more. And now I'll get this one. Um, it's two attacker, but if uh, you're fighting an enemy in this that turn that you played it, that it's in the combat zone, the enemy gets uh, minus two. No, 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 it's not that way. How stupid. It's uh, the next time you fight an enemy in the combat zone, it gets uh, it gets minus two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I was correct the first time. Okay, so let's shuffle. And so the scout is going to have these cards for the next. Okay, and there's a coordinate there, so let's keep that on top. And so uh, we go to the security sheet, and these moves. And I need to do some scanning, of course. So let's see. He's going to play. He's going to play this one, which has some draw card. Another grunt. Now it doesn't have that blue symbol. I don't think he can get it in any way. Uh, no. So let's just play this as attack, attack, some money, more attacking, and yeah, draw another card and more attacking. Well, that's money, by the way. Okay. And the next card is more money. Okay. So four. Well, four. Uh, five attack and four recruit. And uh, why not let uh, scout coordinate as well? So more to purchase with. Scout draws that one. So five and six. Let's scan first. Um, so for five, I think we scan two. That's a host. And uh, then we have three more to go. And now it's a bit risky to scan because if I, if I draw an event, I'll get another. Yeah, I think it's better to kill this one. I'm playing it a bit safe, so uh, that's it. Kill that one. And uh, now I can't afford to scan, but never mind. So six to uh, get something with. Um, I think I'll take. Yeah, I'll take this one. I'll take both of these. I get. Oh, I can take one and I'll see what comes. Of course. Oh, it's a four cost. Okay. Yeah, I'll take both of these. Uh, these are um, head mounted sight, makes it cheaper to scan, um, so that's good. Okay, oh, here's a nice one, it costs nine though, but it has this vigilant effect, which means uh, I can get keep it and then play it when I want to, or discard it to play it. And uh, that's five extra strike or attack. Wow. Oh, nice. Okay, so uh, that was it. The security shift draws six new cards. And it's just basic cards. And so the scout's turn, everything moves. There we go. And of course, I'm drinking some tea tonight, and of course, I'm using the board game switch Neuromas Cup. Now, you can win one of these. Pretty soon, there will be a giveaway. Where you can get your own board games with Nermas Cup. But enough of that. Let's <coughs> focus on the scout. So, the scout will play these. Oh, it's four attack, two recruit. Uh, I can't get anything recruited, so let's just look at the attacks. And so, four attack. I guess we'll just scan the ventilation then. Uh, oh. It's a sprinting xenomorph. The first time this alien moves, it turns it moves one extra space. Oh, that's not good at all. Especially since it's here. Wow. That is not good at all. Okay. Oh, well, that was uh, the scout's turn. This is going to be rough. Six new cards. 
And let's see. Mm, okay, no, uh, no coordinate. Okay, so uh, now we have some problems because now as new card comes out, this one will move, and then it will move an extra spot. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one. Because that one pushed this one, and then the, oh, this is so bad. It pushed everything down. And here we have a colonist host. Okay, but. Yeah, I can just kill it, I guess. Um, nothing happens in the combat zone, it doesn't strike, so... So, uh, time for the um, security sheep, of course. So, uh, money, fighting... Okay, two... Two combat, or two, two strike attack. So, just, let's just kill the host. Now we killed three hosts, that was the goal of the objective. So now we move on to the next one, and next one is, they mostly come at night, ooh. Uh, the objective is to set up sentry guns in two rooms in the complex. If we get an event card, choose a player to draw two strikes, that's not good. By the way, I haven't mentioned it, but of course we are at Haley's Hope, as in the Aliens movie. Uh, this, I think this is my favorite movie of them all, actually. <laughs> it's so cool with the... Um, when they move into that room and they, it, everything is just beeping on the monitors and they don't see any aliens and then they're just climbing from the roof there, so cool. Okay, so for uh, recruitment... Mm. Okay... So... I guess... Let's just get an attack card and this one also has... If I can get that symbol somehow I'll get an extra attack, okay. Uh, smart gunners. A new one comes up. And we'll shuffle. Because there's only one card here. So, uh, security sheep got... No coordinate. Okay. And now it's time for the scout again, of course. And now this one moves. But that one doesn't, which is nice. And so... And uh, let's see what he will be playing. So he has some... Specialist, Grunt... Specialist who play this one that lets him draw a card and scan a room. So draws a card. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. Well, the map. Well, that's this doesn't matter because nobody's hurt anyway. Um. This one. No, he's not going to be able to fight anyone in the combat zone anyway. So okay, that's just two attacks. So he has three. Well, that's nice. Three attack. He can scan a room and he has. I have a recruit, okay. So first of all, let's scan a room. No, first of all, let's kill this guy. If something else happens. So for three, that one is gone. Then he can scan a room, and I'll guess he'll just scan the four to make most out of that. And it's one of these again. Uh, Xenomorph Swarmer, reveal add a high card to the complex. Yeah, so if I would have scanned first, then everything would have been pushed, and that, and he would have moved two space, that would have been devastating. It's a good thing I killed him first, okay. So that's how it goes now. And then for five recruit, um, uh, doo -doo -doo. I think I'll take this one because it does have some uh, red symbols. Now this card means you have to, it's four attack, but you have to draw a strike when you play it, unless you first played a red card. But he does have some red cards in his uh, deck, so that could work out. And another stay frosty there, and so he will draw back up. He only has two cards, so let's shuffle. So next time the scout is going to have oh he's got his special card again. Nothing no no coordinates though. Now we go to the security chief, and you know what's going to happen. This one goes down there, which is not good at all. But let's hope it's something, I don't know, like a turret, perhaps. Uh no, it's an event. Okay, well at least it got removed there. So event means someone has to take two strikes. Um, so I guess the security ship will take him because he has one more uh, health there than the scout has. So, oh, a face hugger. Oh, that's okay. So we'll have to kill this one right away because I can explain how it works. If if uh, if we don't kill it, it goes back to the scout, and then we don't kill it, and then it goes back here again to the security ship. He will be impregnated and will have a chest burster, which means he will die. Uh, it's just a matter of time. If you can't sort of get rid of that card, that's really hard. Um, okay, so one more strike. Uh, it's a contaminated gash, or oh, it can't be healed. That's not good. 
So two damage, okay. I actually have five damage because this one does three as well, but it will be, uh, if we can, we can kill it and get rid of it. So let's see if he can kill it. Um, let's see what he has here. I think he can, yeah. Okay, so to recruit, then one, two, three, four, five attack. Let's just use three on this one right away. We don't even want to uh, take any chances there. And he has two more and he can scan. And the thing is when he, uh, because of this uh, head mounted sight, he gets one uh, discount this turn on scanning. So he can scan a three, but there's a guy there. No, let's just kill him instead, actually. I have two more, yeah, two more attacks. Let's kill this guy because it's too dangerous. Otherwise, he will push cards down. And for two recruit, there's, I can only get this one, but let's do it. Um, if the metal is clear, you may heal a sprite. That's good. Unless it's contaminated, then of course. Uh, okay, then a new one. This one is nice. Here I can coordinate. Uh, da -da -dum. Yeah, okay, so it's three, three recruit, but if I coordinate, it's three attack. So that's really nice. Three, four, five, six. I will try to get that one as soon as possible. And he did get that uh, coordinate, so it is time for the scout. And we move Korch, of course, so these will be pushed. Like that, and then he will be playing his hand. So, uh, Grunt, Specialists, and then recon Reconnaissance. So, draw a card. Another Specialist. And I don't think he will be fighting anyone in the zone there, but okay, so three, three to attack. But you can also scan any room with this one, so let's start with that, let's just do a free scan, maybe there's something that I can kill with that three attack, so let's scan this one. Oh, it's an event, okay. So then somebody has to take two strikes, ouch. Well, I guess it's a scout's turn now, so, um, contaminated gas, no. I don't like those because I can't heal them. And a close call, <laughs> no damage, oof, that was good. Oh, okay, and that was good to get that scanned and still have three uh, attack. Let's scan this one then. Uh, it's a hazard. Well, it, I mean, it's bad things happening, but it's good to get clear spaces. Okay, so let's take a look. The first hazard means what are we supposed to use? Harsh language. Each other player discards all characters in the hand that have printed uh, attack of one or more. So that means the security chief loses all his attacks. Wow. Oh, that wasn't good. He will be left with two cards. Ah, oh, okay. And so, purchase for four. But the security chief will um, coordinate this one. So that's up to six recruit. He draws this one instead. And six recruit. Let's just get this one then. So we can coordinate. So the scout can coordinate more. And if he doesn't coordinate, if you use it, then it's three money. So that's really good. Okay, so that was the scout's turn, and he will draw back up. Oh, there should be a new card there. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see. Nothing exciting there. Well, if the med lab is clear, he can heal, but he can't heal these. Con uh, both of them have the contaminated strikes anyway. Otherwise, I could plan for it to try to get the med lab clear on on the security chief's turn. So a new card comes out and nothing moves. <laughs> oh, two recruit. Yay! He can't do anything. Wow. So he has a turn where he doesn't do anything at all. Okay. So six cards. That's all of them. And uh, this one's nice if well yeah. Draw a card. Draw a card. Yeah, this this could be a better turn for him next time around. And now we go to the scout again. So this one moves. And you really need to kill off some stuff up here. Let's see what we can do. Now oh, this doesn't count for that, so two. Okay, so three of each, no. Four recruit and three attack. Let's just scan for three then. It's an event. Which means someone has to draw two. Wow. Okay, it's the security shift <laughs> turn. Oh, uh, a flash one at least. That's not too bad. And another flash one. Okay. So he has taken four damage out of the 11 health he has. So uh, we have four 
for recruitment. Um, I think another sergeant would be good. Yeah, and it's the green symbol. I was looking for the blue one, so we could coordinate the blue symbol over. But okay, that was it. So that was the scout's turn. He draws back up to six. He only has four, so we'll shuffle. And he did get uh, the sergeant for the coordinates. That's good. And he did he'd get that one. Mm. Then he, he can't play it because he needs that red symbol, otherwise it just draws strike. Okay, so a security chief's turn and we'll do another movement up here. Another card comes out to the ventilation shafts. And let's see what the sergeant can uh the security chief can do now. He's a bit uh, better off this turn. So let's do these first. So draw a card. Oh yeah, I have to shuffle this deck also. So I have just has to discard pipe. So let's just do that on camera and let's just talk a bit about my feelings for this um, solo playthrough. I think we are doing quite okay. I mean, I've taken some damage on the security chief there. Uh, and you never know what's going to come, of course, and in which order they're going to come, mostly. Um, so we'll see. But I think it's going okay. I don't want to say too much. Okay, so draw a card. Uh, that's stay frosty, okay. Um, so this one, let's draw a card. And it's a specialist, so money, money. And so he has five recruit and four attack because no, those symbols aren't active. Um, and that's the C. Da -da -dum. Uh, Scout can coordinate, but it's the wrong symbol. I think it will coordinate anyway. Uh, he will draw a new card. I guess you should do that if you can. So that means this is seven recruit. And five attack. Let's just scan first. Um, so five attack. Let's just scan this one. And it's one of those. Oh, when revealed, add a higher card to the complex. So this one goes down there. But it doesn't matter. We can kill it. And so out of the five, we use two to scan, and I'll use two to kill him. And then uh, it's time to purchase something. So three, four. Five, seven in total. I think we do a sergeant for three. Oh, it's the blue symbol. Nice. And then we have four to go. We'll take one stay frosty, which needs the blue symbol to get any number of players to draw a card. So that's ah, yeah, good combo. Those come out at the same time, of course. So that was the let's see, a new card comes out, another healing one. Uh, that was the security chief's turn. Draw six cards. And there's a coordinate, so that's good. And I just love deck building. Uh, it's so fun with this. I mean, you buy something and now it's starting to pay off. Uh, okay, so now it's time for the scout. First thing that happens, this move down. Let's hope it's not too bad. And let's see, new card comes out and it's a cornered scientist. Oh yeah, it's from the drone deck. Okay, when we kill this one, we, get, uh, we can all draw a card, so that's good. It's only a three. Uh, so I think he can handle that. Let's see, scout. Yeah, I think he can. Two, yeah, there's three. And also this one, but I won't be playing that one because then he'll take a strike. So just put that in the discard pile. You don't have to play all your cards if you don't want to. So for two recruits, he'll pick up another one of these because again, that's a red symbol. So the next time this one shows up, yeah, he can play it. Okay, and also you can heal if the metal lab is clear. That was a recruitment, and we have three attack. We'll just take out this guy that was in the combat zone. So it's like we make, we're sort of surviving barely, because like every round now, in this pace, there's going to be a new card coming to the combat zone, and no coordinates there. Ouch. Uh, okay, so now it's a new card to the combat zone, and these move, of course. So, um, we need to find those turrets. I don't know, maybe they will show up in a while because, I mean, that was objective two. We were pretty fast with completing objective one, so. Yeah, this guy uh, is a hazard, okay. And what does that mean? It's the second hazard. They cut the power. Add hive cards until the complex is full. Well, it's already is full. Uh, turn all enemies in the complex face down. They're all face down already. Shuffle them and put them back into the complex. This is perfect. I mean, this sword doesn't do anything right now. Because I don't know what these are anyway. 
I guess I should just, just for the sake of it, I should shuffle these because they might come from different objectives and so on. Maybe that sort of messes up the order. But that could be a good thing because I need those turrets anyway. So yeah, okay. But it didn't hurt me at all. <laughs> Perfect. So security sheep's turn and so... Um, what is it? Now I'm confused. Yeah, 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 it's the security sheep's turn. Because, yeah, 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 it is. But the thing is, he had a coordinate. I could have used that for... Oh, never mind. I didn't do it. Okay. So, um, that's just to recruit them. The med lab is not clear, so no healing. Um, cheaper to scan. That's good. So, four attack and five recruit. And it's cheaper to scan. So let's do, let's scan the first one then. Uh, because that only costs one. Let's see. Ah, uh, your next room. Yes, it's only one. So this one costs one. Oh, it's Newt. Oh, that's good. She would have died if she would have been pushed down in the combat zone. Ah, uh, that's really good. Okay, so it's a uh, character. So, um, if Newt is in the complex, yeah. Uh, draw a card when I play later. Avoid the next strike you would draw this turn. Oh, she's really nice. Okay, I'll just put her in the um, in the security chief's deck then. Uh, okay, so I have three more, so let's scan the three. Acid Blood Xenomorph. Uh, when he dies, I draw a strike. Oh yeah, because it says he has Acid Blood and he's a six, so it could be tough to kill. Okay, I have Fire Recruit, and I'll just do another one of these blue ones, another State Frosty. I'll just keep building blue over here and red on the Scout. I think that's the way to go, we'll try to get as many cards of the same type as possible, so you can activate all the abilities over and over. And six more cards, that's all of them. Um, and nothing exciting there. So it's Scout's turn, and now everything moves. This one has to be killed. Um, well, they all have to be killed. Okay, and then it's the Scout's turn. So, Grunt Specialist. Uh, draw a card, yeah. Another Specialist. Um, scan for free. Fighting enemy in the combat zone. Yeah, that could be good. Middle lab is not clear, so five recruit, three attack, and a free scan. So let's scan this one, which is free. And there's another one, acid guy. Okay. Um, three attack, let's scan this one then. Oh, here's a sentry gun. Move this to operations. I can pay two to attach this to any clear room that doesn't already have a sentry gun. And enemies in that room have minus two. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So it ends up here, but remember the scout have, he hasn't recruited yet, so he has uh, five recruitment, so he'll pay two uh, to attach this to this room. And now enemies that go there will have minus two uh, in strength, okay. And then he has, still has three recruitment, so let's pick up another sergeant, and it's the one with the blue symbol, yay! Because then he can coordinate back over to the security ship, which need, and he needs blue symbols. Good, okay, five cards, I need to shuffle. And now he actually has two sergeants, but he can only coordinate one, of course, but there's two different symbols, so let's see what, oh, I don't think he needs any of those, but never mind, that was the scout's turn. And now we move to the uh, security sheep, everything will move. So this one moves in here, and I hope that's an alien, so it gets weaker. Well, I'll try to scan that, if I can. Let's see what he has. So, security sheep has grunt, uh, cheaper to scan, and grunts. So a total of five attack, two to uh, recruitment points, but uh, he'll get the coordinate here, so he has four. New card for um, scout. So four recruitment, but let's not use them. If I find another one, turret, I need the money. So let's start with the scan. So he has three for five, and it's cheaper to scan. So uh, let's scan this one for two of them. Oh, it's a face hugger. Oh, put this in front of you. And yeah, well, he has three more attack. No, 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 the 
yeah, it's in front of him. Yeah, it's not in the hatch because otherwise it would have been just a one, but it's a three. Um, yeah, so let's kill it with those three. Just get rid of it right away. I don't want any face huggers near me. Uh, and so that was it. Um, what, he had some recruitment, right? Oh yeah, he had four recruitment, so... Uh, let's put a, pick up another blue card. She's here as a consultant. Uh, it's a vigilant. The card is to get two recruitment. So vigilant means when I play it, I can keep it. If I don't want to use it that round, I can keep it and have it later on. And once I play it, once I use it, then it gets discarded. But that's a really nice function. You just have it sitting there until it's a perfect spot to use it. So a new card comes up here. He gets six new cards, of course. And let's see. Oh, this one is good. Uh, this one could be good. Oh yeah, it is, because I have two of Stay Frosty, so now uh, they will activate each other. And no coordinate, so then it's the scout's turn and everything moves. And now I should try to kill this guy, because now it's only a four, once it's in there. So, let's see what he has to uh, use. Fighting, money, fighting, and uh, money. Uh, okay, yeah, he doesn't have that much attack. Oh, uh, yeah, he should have coordinated this one. Oh, I didn't see that, okay. So if he, if he had coordinated over to the security chief, that would have been three more uh, attack, but now it's three money instead. But that does mean he has one, two, four, he has seven cash. So let's pick up this one, split in two. Let's you draw a card, and if the vigilant is, you may discard this on your turn. If there are two identical cards in the HQ, you gain one of them on your hand, and may choose another player to gain the other one. Oh, that's great. So as soon as there's identical cards here, we can get one card each for free. And look at that. Now it, no, it's not. That was smart colors. But anyway, that's really good. Okay, and he does have uh, two attacks. So let's... Oh, I wanted to kill that guy. But let's scan here then. Oh, it's a sentry gun. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so this goes to operations. You need to pay two, which he doesn't have now. He should scan first, I guess. But I purchased first. So now this one is here. Okay, that was the scout's turn. I should have played it in a different order. That would have been much better. Yeah, that is too late for that. Three, four, five, six. I guess uh, you should scan uh, first. Then again, scanning could mean something bad comes up. And so I don't know. Okay, so that was his turn. Now it's the security chief. Everything moves, which means these guys are in the clear. I wanted to kill one of them at least when there was a discount. They are going to be a problem. I mean, six attack is kind of much right now for me. Okay, so security chief, what do you have to offer? Well, we're gonna need some more muscle. So draw a card. And uh, some more money. Um oh yeah, it's this now. So these two and grunt and specialist. And now it will play one of these, which has none of no effect more than its two attacks. The blue symbol is active, so now I get to choose any number of placers, each draw a card. Although well, why wouldn't I choose everyone? So everyone gets to draw a card. And another to recruit with, and the scout got another one, well, yeah. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, six attack, which is perfect. So let's just use them to get rid of one of these uh, acid guys, which means he will draw a strike, because it's acid. Uh, oh, it's a three, and it's one of those that you can't, oh, so bad. Ouch, okay, hmm. Two, three, four, seven, so he only has four health left before he dies. And I don't want anyone to die, it's so hard. Um, three, four, recruit. Let's get this one, smart gunners. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, let's use the, those four, well, two of them, and then, then the other two doesn't matter. Let's use two of them to attach this sentry gun right here. Now I attach both of them, which means, well, this guy moves in here is weaker. And uh, I did set up, so uh, the objective is completed, we go to the last one, which is kill the queen. Okay, she's probably going to show up soon now. If we get an event, uh, the next player puts a random character in their hand into the operations as a captive. Oh, that's not good. And then we have to uh, sort of pay to get him out. Okay, but uh, now every, everything moves. At least I have a sentry gun there. 
And so a new card comes out, and there's a bunch of cards left. So I mean, it could take a while before the queen shows up, so I can finish this. And so six new cards for the security chief. And there's a uh, coordinate right away. It's good. Uh, yeah. And so uh, uh, everything moved before. Ah, okay. So now it's the scout's turn. So. Okay, the med lab is not clear. Uh, draw a card and scan something for free. Ooh, fight an enemy in the combat zone, minus two. Yeah, okay. So, um. Let's scan for free, first of all. I will scan the four. See, saving some money. And there's another acid guy. I mean, they're bad, but at least we know what they are. <laughs> there's like no, no, no shock there. Okay, so four attack. That's not enough. Well, it is enough to take out this one, because he's, he's weakened by the central gun. So four will kill off that acid guy. Which means the scout draws a strike. And it's only a flesh wound, so that's good. I mean, I really need to pick up some healing somehow. Um, okay, so five. Five to purchase with. I'll get... I'll get this one, Smart Gunners. Because he has one of those already, so the symbols... Oh, well, it's not the same symbol, but anyway. There we go. Um, because because Bishop has the symbol. No, he doesn't. He has the... What? Yeah, he has the symbol. Yeah, he has the symbol. I'm stupid. Okay. So, <laughs> that was... That was the scout's turn. Six new cards. And... Da -da -dum. Uh, coordinate. Now we need... Oh, now we can play this one. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it is the security chief. These move. I should be focusing, I guess, on scanning those that are in the these rooms with the sentry guns, because if it's aliens, they are easier to kill. I totally forgot about he had a a coordinator as well. I forgot about that. Okay, so two money. Here's the vigilant. I'll just put it, uh, attach it here, and we'll see if I will play in this turn or not. Um, med lab is. Oh, if we get the med. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's get the med lab. Oh, I'll draw a cord. Well, fighting, so I have four and I have discount on scanning. Four and discount on scanning. Okay, let's see. So, this is just one. And that's a Xenomorph Trapper. When it dies, reveal the top card of the Sardin stack. You may choose to play to gain it. Oh, that's nice. Free Sardin. And this one's only two now because it's weakened. Mmm. But I want to scan the med lab. I hope it's an event or something so it gets removed. Oh, it's a facehugger. I mean, it's not good. <laughs> I'm sounding like it's a good thing. But that means the facehugger goes... 6, 8, 10. Oh, it's almost dead. The facehugger goes to the... The uh, security chief, right? And... That means now the med lab is clear. So... Once this turn, I can heal a strike from any player. So let's heal. Well, I can't heal the ones that are contaminated, which kind of sucks. So the only thing I can heal is a flesh wound, but at least I'm doing something to save him. Okay. And so that was it. And now it's up to the scout. The scout has to kill that face hugger. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And. Um, Oh, this one is nice though, but no, uh, no coordinate. Okay, so it's the, the uh, scout's turn. This one moves. This one is easier to kill now. That would be nice if I can do that. Now, let's see. First of all, three, he has to. He has to. Oh, did I forget to buy something? I did, right? Uh, yeah, because he had three. <laughs> he had five. Hmm, let's just back up a little bit. Five. Okay, so let's back up a little bit. And he has five. He will play this one as well, instead of having it kept as uh, vigilant. So that's seven. And then the scout coordinated for two. So that means that we have a total of nine. 
who, yeah, nine recruit. And with nine recruit, I can get this really badass card here, the power loader. So this one gets a lot of extra attack and all that. So that goes to the security chief. Yeah, that was good. And now a new card for the scout, which is that one. And now let's hope this, uh, the scout, yeah, I did move up there. Let's hope the scout can, yeah, he can. Uh, and he really needs to kill that face hugger. Okay, so we'll play this one first. So then we have the red symbol up, right? Then we'll play this one, which is four attack, but he doesn't have to draw strike. So that's good, and he also has a ground. So he has five attack, five attack, and five uh, recruit. A new card comes out. It's I will never leave you. I haven't uh, seen that one today. It's yeah, it's vigilant to get two attack. Yeah, okay. So five attack. Oh, this is perfect. So for three attack, he'll kill the face hugger, of course. Have to do that. And then, was the face hugger not a? Oh, where did he come from? Oh, he came here from here. Okay. And then he'll uh, have two more attack. He'll ki kill this guy because of it being there. It's weaker. So uh, really top card of the sergeant deck, and someone gets it. And it's a this symbol. I guess the uh, scout will take it because he's lower on cards. Um, so that was the attacking thing, and then he has five recruit. I'll get another one of these because if he can get them all out, that could be a lot of attack there. So that is not bad. So the face hugger is dead. That's the main thing to always kill the face hugger, I guess. Uh, okay, some gunners, a sergeant, that's good. Okay, so he does have coordinate, let's not forget that now. So now it's the security chief's turn, and they move here. And I would have liked to get the sentry gun on the med lab actually, because that would have been nice with the whole healing thing. Okay, so security chief, let's see what you have. Grunt, specialist. Grant a newt, which means he can draw a card and avoid the next strike. You will draw this turn. That's good. So draw a card, another recruitment. Mm. Okay, none of these cards will be activated. Newt is a red symbol. Okay, so that's just four attack then. So six attack, two recruitment. New card comes up here, by the way. Another one I will never leave you. Um, so coordinate from the scout, which means he'll get the green symbol that he doesn't need. Okay, but uh, two, he gets two recruitment at least. Uh, and that's the card for the scout, that's good. And that means he has four, six attack, four recruitment. Six attack, he could take out this guy, but I think you should scan instead. It's better take him out when he's... Yeah, okay, let's take scan this one. It's an ambushed medic. Oh, when he dies, you can heal a strike. Okay, so that was two. Then two more to kill this one. That's four. You can heal a strike, so he'll heal his other flesh wound. And uh, now he has six health left. Wow. Um, that was four out of those six. So two more. And he can't do anything with that, but he has four recruitment. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get another one of these. Because that's the blue symbol and it's the vigilant to get more money. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, a new card comes up and we get six new cards for the security chief, so I have to shuffle. And so we get a sergeant and uh, nothing really exciting I guess so that one yeah okay so we just have a sword in there so now it's the scouts turn everything moves and I'm sort of barely surviving here I'm just keeping them from going down into the combat zone but I guess that's okay I would just have to find that queen killer and so the scout let's see we'll play this one and uh, draw a card more money mm. And well, if you can get the med lab, yeah, let's do that, okay. 
And this one is okay. So he has three. He can scan one room for free. So let's scan this four. And that's a howling xenomorph. Oh, it's a seven. When it's real, if this alien is in the conflict, reveal each hidden core next to it one at a time, starting with the one left. Okay, so this one gets real as well. That could be good. Uh, or not. Xenomorph snatcher reveal. Put the top card of a barracks into operations as captive, okay? Combat zone. Captives can't be rescued if this one goes down. It's a five, okay? So, uh, this card, uh, bishop card, will go captive there. We can, we can release it for two. So I guess we do that. And now we have three attack. And that's not enough to take out this guy, which sucks. He's a four. Hmm. Well, let's instead then scan this one for two. It's an event. Uh, okay, so let's see. I used all the attack. I just have to keep this in, in order. And so the event means that uh, the next player puts a random character from its hand as a captive, and then we have to rescue it, okay? So we'll draw a random character, let's say a character, I guess it's not these, right? No. Um, I'm not sure, are they characters? Starting cards? I don't think so. Uh, okay, so random one, it's the smart gunners is captive. So we have to pay four to get him out as well. Uh, okay, but this is not a problem. Because now I will coordinate from the over there. If you hear the chief, he gets a new card, it's another grunt. That means we have the scout has two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, to purchase with. So he'll pick up both of these, the four and the two. Yeah, and he'll use this one um, because the med lab is uh, clear, so he can heal his flesh wound here. So that was an okay turn, and I'm still sort of keeping them from getting down in the combat zone. Two, three, four, five, six. I mean, just to take out one card each round, basically. Well, it depends if you get a runner or something. Then they... okay, so two different sergeants. This one has the blue symbol, so I'll probably use that to coordinate. Now it's the uh, security chief's turn, so everything moves. Now this one gets weaker because it's in here, so that's good. Uh, okay, and then um, it is the security chief's turn. He has one card less now, of course. So let's see what he has. Uh, he only has two attack. If he at least has three. <laughs> So this one gives him, I'll just play it right away, I think. Oh, this plays him, no, 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 he has to attack here, stupid. Four attack, three, four fire recruitment. So fire recruitment, new card for uh, the scout. Fire recruit. Mm. I think he will go for one of these. I will never leave you, of course. That's good. That's for three. And then he can actually keep the vigilance. Yeah, let's do that. He doesn't need to play it then. Because he doesn't need those two. And then four attack, which means you are gone, my asked friend. So you're down to four because of the turret and so the sentry gun. So that one is killed. And of course, that means one strike for me. Ah, oh, flesh wound. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it's starting to... Look, I mean, the, these these contaminators are so nasty. So he's up to 6 out of 11, so he has 5 health left, and we can get 6 new cards. And, oh, the power loader, nice. Hmm, I thought it was the scout that bought that one. Maybe I'm confused, <laughs> maybe I put it in the wrong deck or something, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, the coordinate there with the blue symbol. Wait, does he need the blue symbol for something on his turn? Yeah, for this one, everyone can draw a card. So let's uh, try not to coordinate, I guess. Let's see, will he get it some other way? No. Okay, let's not coordinate, perhaps. Or I can play this one. This one has the blue symbol, yeah. Okay, new card comes out in the barracks uh, here. And then we have movement because it's the scout's turn, so everything moves. And now the seven guy is a fiver up here. 
So I should take him out if I can. Uh, so it's the scout's turn. Let's see what he does. So he has a grunt. We had a sergeant. I totally missed that. Uh, no, no, no. He, he already coordinated another guy. Oh, he could have coordinated this one. Why do I keep missing? I'm missing that this coordinate on this one. Ah, uh, bad play. Okay. So. Okay, so he has he has a total of five attack. Five, five of each. But he'll, yeah, he does, yeah, he'll get the coordinate over here. So that now he has seven, five. Another grunt. Um, so he used the five attack um, to take out the seven here. Let's do that. And he has seven to purchase with, so let's get. Hmm. No good symbols now. The green. I don't really like the green one. Uh, but let's get both of these smart gunners anyway. So that was it for him. Junior card come up. The medical. And here's the ain't paying us enough. So, oh, you can pay. You can transform a recruit into attack. That would be really good for the boss fight soon. Okay, so two cards, I need to shuffle. And so the scout has a coordinate. And, oh, he has this one. Oh, that's good if we had pairs out here. I just bought a pair. How stupid. <laughs> okay, so uh, that was it for him. And now it's time for the security chief. Everything moves, of course. Where's that queen? She should show up soon, I guess. And then we have the security chief. Uh, see if we can heal something. And he'll play one less to scan. And he'll play this one. So we play that blue symbol. Ah, I don't think it counts then. I just realized that. It doesn't count if you don't. Okay, never mind. So five. Five and five, and then this one. Uh, okay, so this is you get five attack on each of your turns. The score is at the end of the, your turn, unless you played a. Oh, that's why I need the green fists. Ah. Well, see, it's, it's at the end of my turn, so I do get five attack now. So if I have this lying here, oh, and then I keep claiming the. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, so I have, I have ten attack and. Five purchase. Let's get bump that up to seven with this one. Oh, then he gets the blue. No, no, that wasn't. Yeah, then he gets the blue symbol, which means you can choose any number of players to draw a card. So he'll draw a card. And let's see, then the scout will draw two cards one for the coordinate and one for that. So that's another sort of okay? Okay, so now it's the secure sheet. He has 10 attack. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to purchase with. So I think he will get this one. Uh, for seven, where he can turn recruit into attack. That's really nice. Uh, okay, so that was seven. Uh, let's see, could heal if he gets the med lab clear. He does have ten attacks, so why not? So let's do a five here. Kill this guy. And... Then he'll, he'll use Bishop to heal his Flesh Wound. Then he has five more attacks, so let's scan this one for two. Oh, it's a Hazard. Let's see what it does. The third Hazard is Cocooned. Put your avatar, oh, but it's this one. Put your avatar into operations as a prisoner. While in prison, you can't fight, scan, or gain characters. You or any other player, you may pay six recruit. Oh, I just... Oh, I just bought a card for seven. <laughs> That's why you should scan first. And oh, you have to pay six recruit to free him. Okay, so he's trapped in here in operations by security chief. And now it's up to the scout to save him. And then I can't. I guess he can't do anything. Ah, he can't attack. He can't use his last attack or anything. Oh, ouch. Okay, so six new cards. 
Can he coordinate now? I don't know, he didn't have any coordinate there anyway. Uh, okay, so uh, it's the scout's turn, everything moves. They can push down like this. Oh, and now if we haven't killed this one, he, if he was in the combat zone, then you can't uh, rescue people. So that's the uh, combination there to trap us forever there. Okay, so now it's the scout's turn. Let's see what he has. Uh, so the sergeant. Mm. Yeah, and he'll play this one, which means he has a red symbol, so he can play this one without throwing strikes. He has a lot of attack. This one will be a three-year. He can heal, but he doesn't need to heal. Anything. He can't heal the contaminated stuff. And that's money. So, and then he has this one, which means he gets to draw a card. That's another grunt. And now, if there was a pair out here in the barracks, then we would get one card each, but there isn't, so... Bad timing. But okay, so he has five recruitment. Uh, six, eight, nine, ten attack. So, doing good on attack. Oh, he needed six recruitment, right, to get this guy out. Oh, oh no. Oh, then, so then he's trapped. Wow. Okay, not much to do. Okay, so he has ten attack at least. That's a lot. So with ten, that's just scam. So let's scam this one. And that's a howling xenomorph. Um... Uh, let's, let, uh, we're going to let that guy go over there, so he gets uh, cheaper. So that's two. So eight to go. Five to go when we get the Cinemore Snatcher. Let's kill it then, because it's a three. So two to go. I can't do anything with two. But okay, at least we cleared up some stuff here. Now we couldn't save. Well, he does have a fire recruit, right? Hmm. So we get this one for two. The, another healing, another card comes up, and it's Ripley Enraged. Where, okay, this is nice. Uh, then you need a lot of green fists. That's our thing on this. So, two, he has three more recruitment. Uh, okay, let's do this one. You can discard a card, and if you do, you draw two cards. You need the text, the black symbol. So that was uh, the scout's turn, and we still have the security chief being trapped, or captive, but I think he can buy his way out, now let's see. How does that work? Who is he paying? I mean, is he paying the aliens? I don't know. Um, oh, here's the coordinate, now I'm not going to forget about it. I can't coordinate money, but I think I'll coordinate the pack. We'll see, but well, maybe I need to coordinate money so he can buy himself out over there. New card comes up, by the way. Uh, still no pairs, okay. So it's the security chief's turn, everything moves, so this guy gets easier to kill. Uh, no, wait, 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 he doesn't move at all. There's nothing pushing him. This one goes over here, this one goes there. I'm getting confused here. Being, it's a long game, uh, but I think we can make it. Uh, I am positive about, uh, <laughs> about making it. Okay, so, draw a card first of all. Got a situation here, oh then. Nice, then I can draw another card. The Grunt. Uh, I still haven't played the blue symbol. Well, I can't fight anyway. Well, if I can buy myself out first, I guess I can, then I can fight. So can I do that too? Ah, yeah, uh, draw a card. So three. No, I'm not going to be able to buy myself. Ugh, so bad. Because I have a bunch of attack. Oh no no no, I'll play this, and then I'll play this, and then everyone gets to draw a card, because I can draw I can play attack, right? You can't fight or scan, yeah, okay, okay. So then he gets to draw a card, oh, which is too many, so then it's okay. Yeah, I think this will work out. Uh, and then, of course, the scout draws a card as well. So that was newt. And then a grunt, so it has a bunch of attack, and now he has... Two, three, four, five, uh, recruit. But then, of course, there's a sergeant. So he will uh, give him this one from the scout. And that means he has seven new card from the scout. He has seven recruit, which is enough to get himself out of operations and be free. Ooh, that was close. Okay. 
I don't want to have to waste all this attack here, because now he's free, I guess he can just play it right away on this turn. Uh, because it says, yeah, it says when he, while in prison, that he's not in prison anymore, okay. So, let's see, what is this then? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So with 7, I could take up this guy. But I won't. Uh, let's scan here for 3, so he has 4 to go. Oh, the queen! Here, he, here she is. Reveal. Each player puts a random character that costs one or more from the discard pile into operation as a captive. The queen can't be killed while there's at least one captain in the operation. Ah, okay. And when she strikes, we both get a strike. Uh, okay, so uh, that's good. And she's actually easier to kill now because she's there. If he will move. Uh, okay, so we get uh, from the discard pile. What was it? A random? Random character from the discard pile. Okay. So, um, basically everyone, <laughs> uh, almost everyone, not the beginning cards, but everything else, goes into a randomizer, and let's not hope it's a 9 then. Um, that's a of course, that's a risk with having high cards in this uh, scenario. So one of these cards will go as a captive, and then we have to free him before we can kill the queen. And uh, yeah. Okay. So it's a four. That's okay, I guess. That's the discard pile, and we do the same for um for the scout. And he has a seven, so that's a bit uh, risky there as well. Hmm. Come on, low. Let's get a sergeant. That's a three. Ah, sorry, perfect. Okay, so a three and a four has to be get rid of there before we can kill the queen. And we will try to kill her when she gets here, I guess, because then she's only only a ten. Like that was not that much. Okay, so I scan for three, right? So I have five to go. Let's just keep scanning them. For another three, and that's a xenomorph snatcher. And this guy, if he gets down there, then we can't even get those out, so Okay, so that was the uh, security chief's turn. I need to shuffle. And so he got the power loader, which is nice if we're going to kill the queen, especially. Uh, this one is also nice for damage. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can do that somehow. Um, okay, so now it's the scout's turn, and now they all move. So this one needs to be killed. Um, it's good that we found the queen. I mean, the queen could have been at the bottom, but there's some, some cards to go there, so we have some time. And um, so let's see, the sergeant. Well, now we do need money. Oh, I could, once again, I could have coordinated this guy, and I, I sort of forgot it. Okay. Uh, okay, we have some attack. We do have a bunch of money, so let's see. Two, five, six, eight. Oh, that's enough. Four plus three. So we'll get those guy out right away. And then we have six attack, which is enough to take out this guy. Because he's a fiber now that is in the a, a turret. Why do I keep saying turret? It's called sentry gun. Uh, okay, and what is the turret? I guess three, four, five, six. So the scout has nothing fancy at all. Okay. And so it is the, um, let's see if the timing works out here, I think it might do. So it's the um, uh, security chief's turn, so the queen goes there, she's only a 10 now, so maybe I can do it. I think I can. And we move everything down like that. And remember, the security chief has an awesome turn for fighting. This one is 5, 6, 7, 10... And we can pay those two even to get to, to 12, because this card lets us convert recruitment into attack. So that's uh, 12 attack. Uh, and there's clear here, so we can kill the queen. And uh, let's kill her. Uh, and yeah, she's dead, and we did it. We completed the third objective, killing the queen. And we've done it once again, so that was nice. And uh, I mean, I think I got a bit lucky with the order of the cards and everything, and I mean, it was perfect with the shuffling that I got this one out right now. That's five attack. So that was really uh, fun again. 
I really like this game and I really like uh, playing it solo like this. Uh, it can be a bit confusing at times, like whose turn is it, what character am I on and so on. But overall, it, I think it's going quite well. If I screw up, if I did any, um, you know, if I missed something, if I cheated in any way without knowing it, please tell me in the comment section. And please tell me if you have any ideas or tips for the next one, the next time we go into Alien 3, of course. So thank you so much for watching and have a great evening, morning, or whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye-bye.